Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. What? It's April 21st, guys. It's snowing. What is happening? My poor little bird feeder's frozen. Oh, goodness gracious. I hope it warms up. Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and we're gonna start the vlog today. But first, I wanna show you something that was sent to me. So the company did supply this to me, but like always, the opinion is my own. And this is called Rose Forever. Uh, New York is the company. You can see that. I got a little bit of lint on my velvet box. Um, and what these are, preserved roses. So I'm gonna take the lid off and show you what they look like. So they come in these velvet hat boxes and they're actually preserved roses. Are those not beautiful? I went with the light pink. They have a very rose scent to them. Like I'm gonna leave them in my office and I can smell them all the time. I feel like these would make a perfect Mother's Day gift or you know, Valentine's Day, just because if you have anybody that loves roses, they're just so pretty. You know, pretty classy, pretty, and they last forever. Um, I've only had them for a week or so, so I can't speak on the scent, but I can tell you that I love them and can't wait to find a place for them up here on my uh, shelf for us. Now, um, the link will be down below to the Forever Rose New York site, and there is a coupon code if you would like to order some yourself for $20 off. That's good for the next 30 days. All right, so I just wanted to share these with you. Um, and like I said, they were gifted to me. However, I think they're pretty special. All right, guys, let's get on with our vlog, shall we? Oh, I'm leaving these open and I'm putting them right here for now. I gotta clear off a shelf back here. Um, so what are we doing? Ooh, got my water bottle out for summer. Guys, I love stickers. And look, I ordered a new one. I actually will put my sticker shop link down below too. Um, the young girl that creates these, her mom is a friend of mine and she told me that her daughter was opening up a sticker shop. So I went online and ordered a couple. I got this beach scene and she sent me this little, look at the little raccoon. And she designs these stickers herself and prints them. And so I got my Dunkin' Donut cold brew and then she sent me this little watermelon. I love putting stickers on my water bottle just makes me happy. Um, so if you're like me, I will put her link down below. I didn't get these for free. I did purchase them, but totally worth it. This is a three inch sticker and I think they're all $3 a piece. But then, like I said, she did include a couple little, a little extras. So I have that today. I start vacation coming up. And guys, I made an entire list of things I want to get done before Wednesday. I know I'm very um, enthusiastic, but I started cleaning my garage last night. And by clean it, I mean, I went through a couple totes and tossed them, went through some boxes while I was taking out the trash. But this weekend, I really wanna go through and do a big purge. So I'll show you some before and after pictures of that. Um, my friend is coming on Wednesday to hang out with me. So I need to clean up the basement. Typically for the last year, it's only been Sarah who stays down there. Um, and she takes care of it on her own, but I'll go down, clean the bathroom. I want to change the bed down there, freshen up, run the vacuum, dust. Sarah hasn't been here in quite a while because of COVID, like for t overnight. So we haven't really cleaned up down there. And I really never go down there except for if I'm storing stuff. So it's nothing gross. It just needs dust and tidying, freshen. My living room, dining room and kitchen need a good overhaul. I need to do laundry. A uh, fun fact on the bed in the basement is a bunch of Christmas that never got put away. I brought it down there and tossed it on the bed and haven't put it away. So I need to do that. I need to go to the grocery store this weekend. I also want to video what I'm taking on my backpacking trip video for you guys. And when I was in the garage cleaning, I went through some of my camping gear because I was looking for stuff to take backpacking and I tossed a bunch of junk that I had. So I need to kind of purge and pare down a bunch of that so I can get everything into one tote. Like I kept my lanterns, although I need to check like the battery holes to make sure they're not rotted. Um, 
because if the batteries exploded, then I'll just throw the can these lanterns away and get new ones. Um, I tossed a bunch of junk. I'm going to go through my chuck because I got rid of some larger camping stuff and I want to make room on the shelf for my um, two tents that I have and my kayak is coming back and I'll show you that. I think I'm going Monday to pick that up. So that's what we got going on. It's going to be a busy clean my house situation kind of weekend and what is nice, cat from my coffee is tomorrow there's a 90% chance of rain, which means there's a 100% chance I'm not going anywhere. Um, but that'll be a perfect opportunity to open up that garage door and get out there and just go go through a bunch of stuff. And I'll show you one side is all like tools and kitchen stuff. I probably won't make it purging my tools and stuff. I really need to take a day to go through all of that stuff. But I do want to tidy it up, get so it may happen who knows on the other side is seasonal totes and my kayak sits up on top which i made room for that and yeah so that's kind of a big thing for me is get the garage and the basement tidy the rest of my house is just some deep cleaning that i wanted to do but i need to clean the basement before wednesday so that might be a sunday project who knows i don't know but i gotta get ready for big I mean, I say vacation. I'm just going away for a couple of days. But I have everything I need, I'm pretty sure, for all of that. So I just need to, um, yeah, I need to take my nails off because I'm not wearing these nails backpacking. That would just be a recipe for disaster. And I won't need to do that till later. But, yeah, I want to clean my house. So I'm going to get my rubber gloves out. I have to get out my cleaning stuff and what will most likely happen is while I'm cleaning the bathrooms I'll get under the sinks and purge a bunch of stuff and freshen up so that's everything but again these smell so good if you like the scent of rose you'll enjoy these and they're so pretty so like I said there'll be a they're real roses too I'm just touching them they feel like a real rose that has some preserving done to them okay I'll let that go now all right, guys, I will talk to you later. Probably the next time you see Morning. It's Sunday morning. And I'm getting ready to run some errands. It's 7.48. Yesterday. I'm making coffee. On Saturday, I laid in my bed until 10 o'clock. What? That is virtually unheard of for me. First of all, my body does not allow me to stay in bed typically that long. I either have to potty or my back hurts, you know, the typical I'm old situation. We're gonna feed the boys now. They each get one portion and now they're at my feet. I know buddies, I'm gonna feed you. Anyway, so Yesterday, I just, I was tired. I, you know, I'm busy. I run a lot. So I stayed in bed yesterday. I did a few things. I did get two bathrooms cleaned, which was fantastic. Um, my guest bathroom in the basement got a good cleaning. I haven't been down there in a while. And so I did like the, I scrubbed the shower and the toilet and the sink. It was dusty mop the floors that kind of stuff today i will do the bedroom portion which i'll show you it's a disaster i've been just dumping stuff down there so we'll do a little before and after in the basement because that needs to get clean i'm having company and oh yeah target so i'm ready to target i need some stuff um so i'm also going to see yes i need toilet paper a little bit of facial moisturizer for summer that has an SPF in it. Um, I need a couple things. And I have some gift cards for CVS that I had earned when I was couponing. So I'm going to use up all that. I hear you, my friend. I do. Where's your brother? Here, we'll just go and feed the other cat. Oh, so at Target, the boys dry food is um the bottles or the bag is 18 dollars don't look at the mess behind me here you go baby 
That was from my Dollar Tree haul that I have not finished putting away last night. It was just really dragging. Okay, gosh, Lori, get it together. Stay on task. So, um, yes, yeah, so the boys' cat food, they get Purina Beyond. It's grain free. It seems to help Wellington's digestive issues. So, I gotta get a towel. He, it's on sale this week for 25% off. And then there's a $3 coupon. Um, and they usually only have th three or four bags on the shelf. So I'm just going to go this morning. They open at eight. So as soon as my coffee is done brewing, I'll go just grab their cat food that I don't have to worry about it for quite some time. Um, and they could also use a box of wet food. So I will take care of that as well. You know, because that's how they roll. And then I'll go to CVS and get what I need there. I'll show you what I bought and what I paid, but my goal or plan is to spend about $60. Oh, I need cream or check to go to the grocery store. Um, I have a 10 off a 60 coupon and then I have $30 in gift cards. So if I spend 60, I'll walk out spending out of pocket like $20. So I'll do that. And they're having some special, oh, I need some shampoo. Plus these things have Ibotta. If you've not done the Ibotta situation. Here's a question for you. Do you guys like these thumb holes? I don't know if I do or don't. I think when it's cold, I don't mind them, but I also don't like the feeling of my arms being stuck in my shirt. I don't know. Guys, it's early. All right, let's go. My coffee's done. Let's go to Target. Okay, we did Target. It's 824. No meat deals. I mean, I had meat deals, but it wasn't meat that I needed. But got some other deals so I got my cat food um, it was regularly $17.99 with my 25% off cart cartwheel it was $13.19 and then save $3 so I spent I think $10.19 on that and then I got their wet food, which is $10 a box, nothing I can do. And there's still a shortage on that. Also heavy cream. I couldn't find that, but whatever. Then I went down the laundry aisle and um, I use Scent Booster in my washer for a myriad of reasons. A, I like it, but I've got them with some big geese. Um, I have a top loader, but it's an HE and the water just does not drain out properly. I do not love this washer, but I'm not buying a new one, but I put vinegar in there and that helps. And the scent booster helps. So, because if not, it smells musty, even though I leave the lid open. So I put, um, just regular vinegar down in the bottom. It does not affect your clothing smell at all, but it does help with the musty smell in my washer. Anywho. The big boys of the Downy Unstoppables, like the big, I don't remember, 26 ounce or something. The largest size they sell, which I usually buy at Costco for like 10 or $11. Well, they're $11.99 here, but today they were buy two, get a $5 gift card, and I had a $2 off coupon. So that made it worth it to pick up two here. So my total out of pocket was $64.94. Um, but I am stocked up on cat food for the next couple of weeks. And as I suspected, when I got here, um, I looked up on the shelf and it's a good thing I know what color my bag is because they have several varieties of the Purina Beyond. One is the seafood variety and it's a very similar colored bag, but my boys do not like that at all. They like the chicken. So I'm looking back and I see two bags stashed way deep. I was like, somebody's hiding these. So I grabbed just one because that's all I needed. I don't need over amounts of cat food, but I do need another bag because, you know, they eat. 
Um, so, I bought the cat food for the boys. And somebody was trying to hide it. Rude. I don't know. Let's go to CVS, buy a bunch of toilet paper, and then we're going to go home and clean the basement. That needs to happen this morning. Let's go. Oh, boy, guys. Here's the basement. <laughs> AKA the spare bedroom that is a disaster zone. It needs to be tidied up. Here, I'll come up here. The bed with Christmas stuff that needs to be put away. The couch with Christmas. Over here. That's the bathroom that was clean. I'll show you that after, but let's get this tidied up, shall we? And we're done. That took a while, but let's take a look. So we have the couch here. I moved a little table in the corner. My little plugs. Bookshelves, which I need to go through and pull the books off of. My old sewing machine. I mean, this is just a nice little guest room. Back in here is storage. But in here is a full bath. Hi, shower. I gotta get the rugs dry, but that's it. My spare room is all clean. Whoop, whoop. Okay, what's next? Okay guys, we're in the car wash. Whew, I've had a busy day, but it's time and I guess I need to let go of my Starbucks straw thingies. Oh, I've been so busy today. I got the whole basement done. I need to wash my car because A, it's dirty, but I want to put the roof rack system on. And I can't do that until I wash the top of the car or it will scratch the paint. So I'll bring you along while I install those. And then today or tomorrow, I can go to my cousin to pick up my kayak. But I'm off all week. But I have put in the time. I went to the hardware store, got a new toilet seat I need to install. I went to the grocery store today. And I made some keto sausage balls. It's loud in here. I got the the super wash because I need to wipe out things, clean windows. I also think I'll be driving on Wednesday, so to go backpacking. Tomorrow I'll make my video of what I'm bringing. Super excited! All right, we're gonna go vacuum. All right, we're in the car and I'm feeding the strap LaRue, right? So now this is what it's gonna look like on the inside of the car. And here's my little strap. And what I will do is take this cord here and this will just hold it up out of the way. So I have this strap here, that back there, and on top of the car is the unit. Now I can go over and try to um, tighten this up just a little bit. It seems to be a little loose, but when I put the kayak on top of the car, it'll also get strapped down in the front and the back. So that's how I can carry stuff on the top of my car. Now, I do sit up a little high, so, you know, it'll hit my hair, but I don't care. I want my kayak. All right, let's see if I can look at the straps. All right, guys, the kayak is home. Now I got to get it off my car and into the garage. Hope you have a good night, everybody. Bye.